Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review and today we've got a really special treat and that is a brand new heavy energy weapon, that being the Tesla Heavy Auto Cannon by NewerMind43 and Captain Ultima. A duo who is typically known for making power armor is now here with a brand new heavy weapon and this thing is one word and that word is badass. This thing is so cool, I've never seen a weapon mod quite like this it looks very crisp and clean it packs a whole lot of damage and overall is just a fun mod to use and i think that's the most important feature out of all of these so what this weapon actually is, it is a big two-handed heavy weapon, one that you're going to carry much like a minigun or Gatling laser. Speaking of which, it does use vanilla Gatling laser animations, though they fit perfectly, so that is not a complaint whatsoever. The weapon itself is going to shoot out a Tesla arc, similar to that of the weapon from the Automatron DLC, except this thing is going to shoot much, much faster. It's going to arc from enemy to enemy, and it's going to arc a lot, which is actually really cool, making this for a very unique weapon. We'll show it off a little bit more in game here in a second, but it just makes for a really fun experience. Being able to chain the lightning between enemies is just really, really fun, and I never really get a chance to do that, and this weapon lets me do it a whole lot. As far as obtaining the weapon goes, this is not added to the leveled list, and quite frankly, I think that's a good thing. If there were a bunch of these running around, you would be dying a whole lot. Instead, there is just going to be a single version of the weapon, so it's going to be a bit of a scavenger hunt to go find this thing. If, for whatever reason, you don't want to know the location, I'm going to go ahead and drop a quick little spoiler warning, and just wait about 30 seconds or skip 30 seconds ahead in the video so that we can get that over with. For those of you who do want to know the location, you're going to head over to the National Guard Armory. From there, you're going to head into the back lockup room that has all of the weapons with the sentry bot guarding it on the outside. Once inside, kill all of the ghouls and you're going to have to make it past a novice locked terminal. In case you're like me and you fail it immediately, go ahead and just noclip through the door and it will be yours. The brand new Tesla Heavy Auto Cannon. Now, as far as stats go, whenever you first pick up the weapon, here's what you can expect, keeping in mind that my character has no perks, so these are going to be the raw stats of the weapon. This thing has a base damage of 32, it's using fusion cores as its ammo type, has a fire rate of 272, which is very, very fast, a range of 203, an accuracy of 48, a weight of 19.3 pounds, and a value of 804 caps. As this thing is one of a kind, it's going to be pretty valuable. Now, I know I said that this thing does use vanilla animations, but I still want to show it off firing as it has a really cool firing effect with the Tesla arcs and the really high fire rate. It's just a cool weapon. So I'll go ahead and let that play for you now. It really feels like you are holding a weapon that can pack massive amounts of damage, and it sure can. And that's just the standard firing mode. There's actually some barrels that will reduce the fire rate and do higher damage. I'll go ahead and use one of those really quick just so you can see the difference when it comes to firing this weapon. So here we have one with a heavier barrel, like I said, higher damage and slower fire rate, and they sound much, much different. As you can see with this version, you can actually hear every individual shot, when with the last version, it was kind of just a blur of noise, which is a good thing. All right, and before we move on to the attachment section of the video, I do want to show off that Tesla arc feature, where it's going to arc from enemy to enemy to enemy, and we have the perfect test subjects who decided to walk up right about now. So let's go ahead and see. We'll start by shooting this first guy and see if it arcs over to that Mr. Gutsy there. And you'll see that not only did it arc over to the Mr. Gutsy, but the scientist behind them as well. And this is true for hitting just about anything. If I shoot the floor right about here, I think it'll hit all three enemies. Well, I was wrong. I guess it goes from target to target to target. It can't chain multiple targets at once, which is a pretty interesting balancing act. So once it hit the middle scientist there, it arced over to the Brotherhood of Steel Knight, but couldn't make it back over to the Mr. Gutsy. Pretty interesting. Still really cool having that arcing mechanic. All right, let's go ahead and talk about attachments for this weapon. There's not a ton of attachments, but the ones that we do get are really, really cool. Let's go ahead and start with the receivers. So we have our standard allotment of receivers for energy weapons here that are gonna give us more and more damage as we go up the tree. 
let's go ahead and start with the Tesla Heavy Gun Receiver, which is the standard receiver for this weapon. We have the Photon Exciter, which is going to give improved critical shot damage. We have the Beta Wave Tuner, which is going to add some burning damage. The Boosted Capacitor is just going to improve our overall damage. The Photon Agitator will give even better superior critical shot damage than before. The Gamma Wave Emitter adds even better burning damage. The Maximized Capacitor is going to give you even better base damage than the Boosted Capacitor. The Boosted Photon Agitator is going to give us better damage, superior critical shot damage, and better accuracy. The Boosted Gamma Wave Emitter is going to give us better damage and better burning damage. And then finally, the Overcharge Capacitor is going to give us the maximum possible base damage of 56 compared to the standard 32. So almost double, giving us some pretty high damage. But the real way to get damage is with the barrel types. So we have the standard barrel, which is the standard barrel. These are the base stats for it. We have the light barrel, which is going to give us improved fire rate, but the same damage. We have the medium barrels, which is going to give us better damage and range, but it's going to give us an inferior rate of fire. So like I showed off earlier with the slower fire rates, that's going to start at the medium barrel and move on to the armored barrels. You see we get a little bit beefier here with some armored vents. This is going to give even better damage, but again, inferior rate of fire. And then finally, we have the heavy barrel, which is going to have the best damage and the slowest rate of fire. Then finally, we have the sights section. We have your standard iron sights, the reflex sight, and then another reflex sight. Now there's a small bug that it shows the same sight here in the weapons workbench, but when you equip one, it will be the Gatling laser reflex sight here, and the other will actually be the Gauss rifle reflex sight. It just, for whatever reason, doesn't display it correctly in the workbench, but trust me, when you take it outside, it will work perfectly fine. All right, and then finally we come to the damage test for today. We're going to be testing this weapon twice each time on our baseline Deathclaw. The first test will be the standard weapon with no attachments and no perks. And then the second test will be the maxed out attachments with the best barrel and best receiver. But again, with no perks, that way we can just see the raw stats of the weapon and what exactly it can do on any character build. So starting with the standard version of our Tesla Heavy Auto Cannon, Let's see how long it takes to bring down a Deathclaw with the low damage and high fire rate. And that was pretty dang fast. Each fusion core is going to give us 500 units of ammo, and that blew through 64 of it. So, pretty good, I'd say. Let's see how we do with that high damage and low fire rate. Definitely going to cost us less total ammo, but I'm curious what the time to kill will look like. Let's go ahead and find out. And I would say that the high damage is definitely worth it. We put that Deathclaw down in only five shots, which is much more ammo efficient. And it was still pretty much as fast, if not faster than the standard version of the weapon. Very, very cool. And I absolutely love this thing. So powerful, so strong, and it looks really, really good. So yeah, guys, that is the Tesla Heavy Auto Cannon by NewerMind43 and Captain Ultima, a very, very cool heavy weapon to add to your arsenal in Fallout 4. I highly recommend checking this one out. It is a whole bunch of fun. Definitely very strong, but very fun indeed. With that, if you want to try this mod for yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you.